Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. I'm going to be looking at the top five alternatives to Photoshop on a Mac and PC. The reason I'm producing this video is because I've noticed recently the gradual increase of the cost of ownership for Adobe Photoshop. Most of us have probably subscribed to the Adobe Creative Cloud in order to get access to Photoshop, which at first sounds like a really efficient way of getting access to Adobe software. I signed up at least seven years ago now. It could have been back in 2011 or 12, I can't remember exactly. But at the time it cost around $50 per month and it just felt like really good value and certainly was better value than purchasing the software outright, which would cost over $1,200 for the whole suite back then. So $50 a month was really attractive and whilst it lasted, I thought it was really good. However, we're now in 2019 and the price has risen to around $77 a month for the Creative Cloud, which gives me access to Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, Premiere, After Effects, InDesign, a whole host of software titles that are really essential for any digital creative. And in addition to that, you get all of the mobile apps. So it does represent good value in many respects, but at times I've been questioning whether I need to be spending that $77 a month, which is getting very close to a thousand a year. And the way things are going, it's probably gonna ramp up to $99 a month very soon by 2021, 2022, in which case I'll be spending well over a thousand a year on my software and I'm not sure that I wanna keep doing it. So. That led me on a journey of discovery to find whether there would be any software that could replace Photoshop and all of the other apps. So in this particular video, I'm just gonna cover Photoshop and then I'm looking at producing some subsequent videos that will cover replacements for Premiere, Illustrator, and even uh, After Effects and so on. So I've already done a bit of research and have found some alternatives. I've done most of my research so far in the alternatives to Photoshop. And I looked at a lot of apps to be honest with you. Not all of them were up to par, but there were quite a few that I think are very close to the functionality you get in Photoshop. Now let's be real, we're never gonna get something as comprehensive and as extensive as Photoshop for much less of a price point. Adobe are the leaders in this space. But having said that, I found a few that will probably do the bulk of the tasks that you need as a photographer or a digital creative at a much lower cost. So I'm gonna start with my first discovery, which is called Photo Gimp. I know the name sounds really strange and the logo looks equally bizarre, but I've gotta say that for a free software title, it's actually quite a viable replacement for Photoshop. So let's start with that one. We'll take a look at the features and just how it compares with Photoshop. GIMP is a cross-platform image editor available for OS X, Windows, and even Linux. You can change its source code and distribute your changes. Whether you're a graphic designer, photographer, or illustrator, GIMP provides you with sophisticated tools to get the job done. You can further enhance your productivity with GIMP thanks to many customization options and third-party plugins. If you take a look at the interface, it looks a lot like Photoshop. You have the toolbar on the left. There are cutout tools, typography, the healing brush, clone tool, dodge and burn, etc. On the right-hand side is the layers panel where you can duplicate your images, import multiple assets and create a multi-layered image. Similar to Photoshop, you can change the opacity and blend mode for each layer. And by right clicking, you can add a layer mask to add an alpha channel. And of course, you can resize and export your image to any format. So as you can see, by virtue of the extensive feature set and the similar user interface, GIMP is a great option for those of you looking for a free replacement to Photoshop. Next in my list is Affinity Photo. Although this one is not a free app, it represents great value for the low price of around $50 to $80. As a one-off purchase, you get access to an extensive feature set and once again, a familiar layout that can pretty much replace all of the functionality you get in Photoshop. The tool panel on the left has the selection tools you're familiar with, from the magic wand selection tool to the clone stamp, healing brush, 
and typography. There's also the warp tool for manipulating body contours and also a perspective tool that lets you take control of the perspective in your image, which is great for architectural photography. The layers panel is as comprehensive as Photoshop. You can add adjustment layers with all the usual filters, including levels, white balance, curves, color balance, etc. You can change the blend mode and opacity and add effects to each layer with ease. Affinity Photo is also capable of merging panoramic images, HDR or focus stacked images together in the same way that Photoshop does. And for those of you working with large quantities of images, you can take advantage of the batch feature which lets you resize a folder full of images to any size and format in one simple step, an indispensable tool for the creative professional. Next up is Pixelmator. Again, not a free app, but comes in at a cost-effective price at around $50 to $80 as a one-off purchase. This is the first of the apps that doesn't mirror Photoshop in terms of the UI. We get the layers panel on the left and then to the right, you can access a range of preset filters for color control. And then next to these are all the manual adjustments from your lightness to darkness, highlights, shadows, contrast, color balance levels, and so on. Further right, we see the familiar toolbar with your selection tools, clone and repair and typography. You also have an extensive range of paint brushes to choose from. To the top of the screen, you'll find some additional tools, including the crop tool and export tool that lets you save down your image in all of the expected formats. The next one I wanna share with you is Canva. This is actually a web app, so it's free and requires no installation. A handy option for those of you looking to get access to not only an image editor, but also a layout package that can help you prep photos for printer design or digital media projects and social media. Canva first made a name for itself as a layout app, so you'll notice a large range of templates available for creating images with typographic elements. You can choose from different layouts for social media posts to print projects and more. Furthermore, you get access to a large image library of stock photos, some free and some paid. And of course, you can import your own photos into this web app and take advantage of the image editing tools. The tools here are not as extensive as Photoshop. You get a filter tool, adjust, crop and flip, and that's about it. You can add typography over the top and stickers, frames and shapes. So this one is really going to be suitable for basic photo editing, but then gives you more control over layout and design, which does make it more suitable for those of you who are editing photos for social media and publishing more so than those wanting to produce photographic works of art. The final image editor I wanna share with you today is Pixelart X, which is also another web-based application. This means you can use it on any computer or device. This HTML5 image editor has a comprehensive range of tools. You can rotate and flip images with ease, access a cropping tool, and the select and cutout tools are featured on the left. You can adjust the color and levels manually, and there are also a range of image filter presets, which lets you apply creative effects to your images, similar to the ones you find on most social media apps, such as Instagram. You can retouch your images, use the paintbrush tool to draw on image layers, you can add text and take advantage of text layout features such as alignment, font style, font size, line spacing, etc. Like Canva, the previous web app I demonstrated, you can add image elements such as borders, shapes, and stickers. You can also add multiple image layers to build a complex image. When you add layers, they appear on the right just like in Photoshop, and you can change the opacity and blend mode of each layer. And when it comes to exporting, there are multiple options for exporting your image in different formats and resolutions to suit any application. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. By the way, if you've come across any software titles that you think are comparable to Photoshop, that could be a viable replacement or even just a suitable solution for editing photos, on a Mac or PC, feel free to put those suggestions in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.